Welcome folks. Today we're going to be talking about thermonuclear fusion. All right, and we're going to be talking about this thermonuclear fusion that happens specifically in the sun. So let's talk a little bit about the sun. First off, we know that the sun has a huge mass. The sun is humongous, very heavy, very massive. Because of that, it has an incredibly strong gravitational field. There is a lot of gravitational force bringing all the items toward the center of the sun. As a matter of fact, it's about 28 times the gravity that there's here on Earth. The sun also has an extremely high temperature. <laughs> it's 27 million degrees Fahrenheit in the core, which is the very center of the sun. That means that the atoms in the center of the sun are moving at an incredibly fast speed. They have huge amounts of kinetic energy. So two things to keep in mind for the sun. Humongous gravitational force and then a humongous level of temperature and kinetic energy. Going back to this word, thermonuclear fusion. Let's break it down into three parts. We have thermo, that refers to heat. We have nuclear, which refers to the nucleus of an atom. And then we have fusion, which is the joining of two or more things. So another way of saying thermonuclear fusion is that you are joining the nucleus of an atom to another nucleus of an atom with the help of heat. And we also have that gravity part. Let's move over here. All right. So now we need to talk about well, what, what atoms are being fused together. Which atoms are being smashed into each other so hard that they then stick to each other. We're going to focus on hydrogen. Okay. So in the homework that you did, you found out that hydrogen is 91% of the sun's atoms. Okay. And we're going to simplify it a little bit. And we're just going to focus on two types of hydrogen atoms. We have the protium hydrogen atom, which has one proton and one electron. There's another type of hydrogen atom called deuterium. This one still has one proton, still has one electron, but it also has a neutron in the nucleus. Okay. So you have one proton here. And there you have one proton with one neutron. Now we're going to move over. Right, so again, this is a simplified version, but I think it could help us understand thermonuclear fusion. Imagine like a blender. All right. You have a blender, which in this case represents the strong gravity and it represents the high temperature. You get this strong gravity. You get the high temperature plus a protium atom and a deuterium atom, and it causes those two to become one. They fuse together. Two individual atoms will then become one atom. This atom that it becomes has two protons, right? One proton, one proton. So there you have two. It has one neutron which came from here, the deuterium, and then it has the two electrons. When this combination happens, when this fusion happens, you end up with the helium atom plus energy, lots of energy, in the form of electromagnetic radiation. And that electromagnetic radiation includes gamma rays, includes uh, visible light includes all sorts of other types of energy, ultraviolet, that then makes its way here to Earth. Thank you very much.